Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. And just to remind the Muslims, they are welcome to call me anytime, any second, immediately. Our topic is about the mental health of Muhammad. You know, the Muslims, they have tons of videos, articles, movies, you know, endless, millions. Uh, and in every single video, they present to you someone he is amazing, smart, intelligent, merciful, uh, ethical, wonderful. I mean, whatever else you want to add at the end of the world. But how much that is realistic? Uh, you know, YouTube show me a video like this. You know, a Muslim asking a person about Muhammad. I don't know what he told him in the video. And the guy, he said to him, he feel like he wanna cry. So who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and tell us something emotional about your prophet? Because I wanna cry too. Any Muslim? Israfil, he is saying to me, you pagan. You pagan? Do you mean I'm a, you are saying I'm a pagan? Well, I don't know, my friend. As long as you are talking about mental illness, well, why your prophet, he kissed the black stone? I remember once I, I went to the, I had a chat, and I think I posted it on YouTube, if you remember, with the Muslim website, and I asked them a question, why the prophet, he kissed the black stone? It took them five minutes to answer, and they said to him, to me, because it's holy. I said, why it's holy? took them another five minutes and answer saying because he kissed it so who is the mental and who is the pagan so I can give you the question right now as long as you are talking about paganism who is the pagan why Muhammad he kissed the black stone because it's holy why it's holy because he kissed it so obviously Islam is a stupid cult and Muslims uh, you know, if, if we can say there is a Muslim, I mean, even like even those who go on YouTube in the street, none of them is a Muslim. None of them practice Islam. Not a single one of them. Actually, if there are people who practice Islam, they will not be even there. <laughs> uh, your sin of idol worship will not be forgiven. You associate partner with Allah. Well, that's wonderful. Why you don't call me? Let us see who associate partner with Allah. First of all, I don't believe in Allah to partner with him, you idiot. You are very silly, like all the Muhammadan. When you say to somebody, you partner somebody with Allah, that means he believe in Allah. Your God is not exist. He is an ancient moon God, false God. Satan is exist, yes, so he can be the one using the name, behind the name, behind the scene, but Allah himself does not exist. If you don't believe me, call me so we can love together. But as long as they are talking about idol worshipping and associating someone with their God, isn't your Muslim associate the knowledge of Muhammad with the knowledge of Allah? Isn't your Muslim associate the name of Muhammad with the name of, uh, of, of Allah? How you say Shahada? Can you say Shahada, which is supposed to witnessing, which is very funny. Muslims are witnessing to, to, to both people who they never, they never saw. Neither Allah, neither Muhammad. So you witness to Allah by doing what? You witness to Muhammad or to Allah? You witness for both. Why? Because you associate the name of Muhammad, with, which is a man, with the name of your God. You are a pagan. Now, if there is any Muhammadan there to call me, please feel free. But we know that Muhammadan, they are suffering from mental illness like their prophet. Because you cannot be a person who is not suffering from mental illness and you believe in what Muhammad said. Prove me wrong. Like when Muhammad he says you will have an endless penis, is that a statement of somebody he have a mental illness or mental uh, stability? Hmm? When your prophet he says there's 99 dragons will come inside the grave and they will go inside your anus. 
Is that a statement of somebody is healthy or somebody is mentally ill? Who of you believe really there is 99 drugs that will go inside your anus when you die? If you do, call me. None of you. Hypocrite. You claim to be believers, but in reality, the second we ask you a question, you escape it. If we do a little search on YouTube, we will find tons of I mean, the Muslims. They they have answer for everything. <laughs> Until they talk to me. We came from monkey, moved to make. Moved to make is uh, refuting that. But the Quran says the opposite. The Quran says that a certain group of people, Allah made them monkeys. So how you refute it, but you are supporting it. Not only that, actually, the Muslim believe, because Muhammad told them, that animals are nations like us and they are Muslims. And this is why, if we go right now, and we search in uh, YouTube, you will find things which is hilarious. Those are cows saying Shahada. Cows reaction when they hear Surat Al Baqarah. Look, they are reciting for them the chapter of the cow, and the cows they have a reaction. <laughs> so, who is more mental, Muhammad or his followers? You tell me. And you know they do editing. Like you remember the story, the cat she don't walk over the Quran. Do you remember? And millions of people they were like, "Wow, the cat is not moving over the Quran." <laughs> Obviously, she is a Muslim cat. Brother, the cat doesn't stop step on the Quran, but the cat she step on the Bible. Bird will not walk on the Quran. <laughs> and those are the scammers, you know, they make a reaction videos just to make money. You know. <laughs> and then there's a guy, I like his short videos. His name is David Wood. You know, he brought you all the Quran you want. Uh, too bad if I have a cat, I will do it. You know, I don't have cats, I grow lions. And any one of you can do it. You know, I mean, they do video editing, they are just a stupid. I mean, people they step on the Quran. We can find even the Quran in the sewage, thrown by Muslims. Millions of Qurans thrown in the sewage every year. Actually, they are causing big problems in Islamic countries. They block the sewage. But remember, the cat don't want to walk on the Quran. Hmm. Sewage. Anyway, I would like to see a Muhammadan who believe that Muhammad was a smart, not a stupid, and mentally ill to call me and to discuss the topic together in a nice way, if it's possible. Muhammad was a genius. 
and we can see some examples. Let us see. Brother Omar has a question that he had underwent uh, or undergone a number of surgeries in his kidneys and appendix and, and etc. And he suffers from passing wind. So he's asking what to do when this is happening and what to do with the prayer. Akhil Karim, Omar, I pray to Allah that he cures your illnesses and restores your health back again to be stronger and better than before. Regarding passing wind and breaking your wudu, you are either one of two. Either this happens on intervals or it is continuous. Mm -hmm. Intervals mean that it happens for five, ten minutes and then it stops for half an hour or an hour. And then it happens for five, ten minutes and stops for half an hour. So you can estimate that this is a half an hour or an hour where I can perform uh, wudu and pray. In this case, you have to pray in the interval or in the period that you... There we go. We find a solution. Pray when you are not farted. As if the guy have a control. <laughs> Same time, I mean, what, what kind of God? I mean, what's the problem? The guy is sick. This God will not receive your prayer if you are farting. Looks like this God, he did not know how and what he created. I mean, if a, a human being, he fought, isn't it? This is part of Allah's design, supposedly, and Allah is the creator. Or I forgot the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators, which means there's a lot of creators. This is what Muslims and Islam is busy with. Part in Hadith. You call TV station now, but they talk about something serious. Parting, non-stop. More serious questions. What's the ruling on suppressing the urge to pass wind during Salah? Is my salah valid if I succeed in suppressing it? Or do I have to make a new wudu and By the way, stop. This is a farting TV station. I'm not exaggerating. I mean, there's a thousands and millions of programs made by the Muslims about farting. It's a big, big problem in Islam. We have to, you know, we have to, we have to put that into consideration, you know. And that is telling you that Muhammad is not mentally ill. He is a serious man. He has knowledge of God. Okay, now uh, uh, not only human beings fought, uh, shaitan fought too. When you uh, call for the Adhan, Shaitan, he start farting. Mosques, when you give the Adhan, the Shaitan, he not only runs, but the Hadith says, Lahu Durat. You know what Durat is? What? Durat is... You are a professional man. He runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu Durat. I'm not making this the Hadith. So See, he did not make it out. This is the hadith. It is mean Muhammad said. I mean, if you ask yourself a, a very simple question, if Muhammad is not mentally ill and he have a low IQ, he will say it's such a thing. Remember, you know, we are coming from like Jesus came uh, 600 years before Muhammad. Moses came long, long before. Abraham way before. We never heard so, and none of, none of them saying such a stupid, stupid stuff like this. But where Muhammad he got those stories from? Shaitan he fought when you hear the Adhan. Why? 
And this shaitan is a creature like us. He have, you know, is eating beans. He must be an American shaitan. Those Americans, they keep eating beans. So shaitan thought, because you are praying to Allah, and this is explained the global warming, and those stupid atheists, they keep talking about the global warming. The problem is Islam. Stop Islam. Ban Islam and ban the Salah of the Muslims. Global warming will be, that's it, demolished. Because as you see, number one producer for, you know, carbon is shaitan, 14 at Muslim prayer. And look at their respect. I mean, Allah is, uh, they are praying to Allah, shaitan for it. Muhammad, he is a person who speaks the truth. And he is an expert in farting. You, that shaitan made me do sin? Ah, oh, get up. Yeah, just get up. Just give the adhan, right? That shaitan, you're gonna make him, you're gonna make him leak some serious gas. Wow, we are making him leak now. So we Muslims, when we talk for the adhan, we are making the shaitan leak, serious leak. May Allah leak you. Serious gas. So you know you go into the toilet, you know, Bismillahi Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khabaith. So Allah protect me from these devils. You you go in there with your left foot. You have to enter with the left foot. Muhammad told them you have to enter with the left foot. Because if you don't, there's a consequences. I'm, I'm warning you. Never enter with the right foot. Dangerous. The smart Muhammad, he's not mental, you can tell. He told them when you enter the bathroom, you have to enter with the left foot. Brother, why? The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. Reward right away. See the reward he came like, Shh. you are entering the bathroom to do shit, excuse me. You got a reward for that because you just use the left foot, not the right foot. If you use the right foot, Allah will give you a finger. Hmm. Continue. The dua you said, shaitan will not see you. You're Ah, you became invisible. I went to the bank last time. I mean, I was talking to them. They said, who's talking? We hear the voice. Are you there, sir? I said, yeah, I'm here. They said, are you talking? Where are you? You know, they could not see me because I said the dua. Why? Because the one who worked in the bank, he was a shaitan, obviously. So he cannot see me. Like, what the heck? And then I, I put my ATM card in the front of him. He said, but I don't see you. How come? I see the card now. Because I enter, you know, the bathroom of the bank first with my left foot. And I say the dua, which the prayer to Allah. And then I became invisible. You're in the toilet. Shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith. Hadith, right? uh -huh, yeah. If you don't say the dua. Now is the consequences. See what Muhammad, Muhammad, you don't make things out of nowhere. There is a serious problem here. He's, he's helping you. If you don't say the prayer, the dua, which is like supplication, what will happen? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tidmi that says he plays with your bowels. Shaitan, he go inside your anus. Not only he come inside your anus, may Allah protect your anus Muslims. He is playing with your anus now. Like a diggy, diggy, diggy. Tika, 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 tika. Atone, tika, 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 tika. Okay, and what happened? That explained why every Muslim anus came to, to, to call me is, is, is a swollen. I mean, I don't, now I understand. Okay, what else? This is the smart Muhammad, not the mental illness Muhammad. The smart Muhammad. He plays with the bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're going to be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. See? You think it's going to be taking two minutes, five minutes? Ten minutes is not even you are not starting because he blocked it. That's it. He's there. And I mean, do you even hear the music behind it? The holy music. Muslim, they add holy music. Suppose this is holy music. I mean, what the heck? This sounds sound like a graveyard. And the holy music now is about what? About a, a shit and bathroom and somebody playing with your anus. And we are playing the background music. Listen to the background music. You know why? Because I'm really, I'm, I'm not going to say you Muslim, you must be touched because as you see, you're not being touched. <laughs> you are played. You know, shaitan is inside your anus playing with you. And the funny, this is happening only to Muslims. Who 
is a Muslim when I take a camera and record a slow motion, all right? Like, don't enter the bathroom with your left foot. Prove to us, we can ask Lily Dawa, I'm sure she she like it. Prove to us that Shaitan, you see, you can, you can say Shaitan is invisible, no problem. But we will see what's happening to your anus. We will see your anus is moving, especially if it's hairy, hairy putter. This is Muhammad, the smart Muhammad. Who is a Muhammad that would like to join us? Until now, zero. But you know, all of this can be nothing. But we have proofs that Muhammad, he was mentally ill from their books. How we can prove it? The Mohammedan they line up to debate people like uh, the ex-Muslim uh, with his name uh, Ahmed. Somebody I saw in the text they are saying, "How come those people they don't call me? They don't dare to call me." Uh, they knew. Let us read what happened to Muhammad and how we can prove that Muhammad was suffering from mental illness from their books. This is Al-Bukhari. This is Al-Bukhari. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God needed a surgery to install a dish of wisdom in his chest? and in his nerves and his vein. Read carefully. So Jibreel cut open, this is a real plastic surgery, real time, 1400 years ago. Before Muhammad been taken to heaven, Jibreel opened the part of his body from here to here. The fact this is a lie, it says to, uh, uh, to the, uh, you know, to his chest, no. Uh, I can show you even more stories, says all the way to his testicles. But we will go there. We will show more hadith. And then he took all the material out. I like the material, by the way. I mean, look, this is scientific study. The material. He took it where? He took it out. So in Muhammad now, his chest and his stomach is open. Jibreel, he cut open the chest of Muhammad and his abdomen and he washed it with Zamzam. With Zamzam, you cannot wash it anyway. What? With Zamzam. It have to be in that water, which is full of arsenic. Then he washed it with Zamzam water with his own hands. Looks. Um, Jibreel is doing laundry in the old style, like you know, the way your grandmother and my grandmother used to do it, with his hands. Yeah, he's an angel, not with his wings. I thought Muhammad, he said, that Jibreel have 600 wings. Now he is washing it with his hands. Maybe the hands wings. Wee, wee, wee. Till he cleansed the inside of his body. Man, full of, excuse my language. And then golden tray contained a golden bowl full of belief and wisdom. Now, who is a Muslim would like to call me and say to me, my prophet was not mentally ill and stupid. Otherwise, I never heard that somebody is a prophet of God, his God need to do some fixing and repair and install wisdom. Who is a Muhammadan? Would like to tell me why Muhammad need a plastic surgery? Because this is a really a plastic surgery. The purpose of it is a purification, correction, 
body modification, as you see. The Quran speak about multiple words. Yeah, I can show you about the multiple words. Why you don't talk me, Israfil? By the way, your name is Israfil. Do you want to show you what your Prophet Muhammad he said about Israfil? You would die laughing. Allah, he put his book, his tablet, between the eyes of Israfil. And the distance between his eyebrows is 500 years. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, why Allah he put the book, the tablet of Allah between the eyebrows of Israfil? So he cannot look at it. <laughs> hey Israfil, what about you call me so we can talk about the topic you've chosen? I challenge you. Multiple words. Your stupid Muhammad, he says, the, the earth has seven liars and every liar there is a creature living it. This is the multiple words. Oh, this is why the Quran it says Rabbul Alameen. What Alameen mean? Call me, call me so we can laugh. We have all the laundry of Muhammad. Anyway, we go back to our topic. If Muhammad is not a stupid, what was the purpose and the reason to install a dish of wisdom in Muhammad's chest? And not only that. Muhammad needed a lot of wisdom to the point it says here and then the wisdom was brought and then Gabriel stuffed his chest and his throat blood vessels with it do you see it do you see it what this story here prove that Muhammad is really stupid and material why because this is a story mentioned by Muhammad after the plastic surgery to make him smart. Are you with me, guys? This is the story of the smart guy after the surgery, the wise man now. See, Muhammad was so dumb before the surgery. Now he have a whole golden dish, a huge one, sent from Allah, from the refrigerator of Allah. And they stuff it in his throne and his blood vessels and his throat and his chest. And yet Muhammad, he mentioned this story. Do you see how wise he is? That means he is so wise now. And because he is wise, he is telling us a story. This story is not a stupid story. It's not even good for kids. No, this is after the surgery. This is when Muhammad becomes smarter. He come with this story. Who is a Muhammadan can call us and say to us that Muhammad was smart and he is not mentally ill? If you say he was not mentally ill, so why Allah doing a plastic surgery to install? Believe and, and believe? Guys, have you ever heard of faith and wisdom? They are coming in dishes. dishes this is literally a golden dish full you see this is not my words this is not my translation this is not my website this is not my arabic book this is their words and the muslim they keep saying everything about prophet muhammad is documented i'm so happy to hear that as you see is documented and we are laughing Nobody need to post my Skype. My Skype is in the info of the video. Every time I go live, if you click at the info, you will see my Skype. Very easy. It's in the info. But my Skype is open. And if you call me, and you can prove to me that Muhammad was smart, I will send you a free golden bowl full of belief and wisdom. Who want to do it?
Anyone? And this is very authentic hadith, as you see, this is al-Bukhari. This is al-Bukhari. The game of weak and strong, you know, the, the Muslims always, they try to escape the immunity and the stupidity of their prophet. So anything you show them, they say, this is not accepted. It doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> Who is a Muhammadan would like to call me and explain to me what was the reason to abrogate the wisdom of Muhammad if he was not so stupid? Why Allah did not send a dish of faith, belief, and wisdom to Moses? The answer is very simple. Moses is a Jew. He is a smart. Why Allah did not do the same to Abraham? The answer is very simple. Abraham is not a Muslim. He is smart. Why Allah did not do that to Isaac, Jacob, Isa, as they call him? According to the Quran, Isa, they, 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 they claim that Isa is Jesus. He was born with wisdom. Would you dare to step into the ring with the Khattab or Tits? My friend, would they dare to step to my ring? So we can make, so we can make them shish kebab. And let me tell you something, you know, your khattab and your tate, they can win a game because it's a game. But in reality, they will be dead in two seconds. Just let us see how they do when they fight in the street. <laughs> this is a game, you stupid. There's a guy between them always. Let us see what they can do in the street. Can you step to you? <laughs> We saw the hero of Shishania, Kadarov, how they got, like, I mean, they, they, the, the Ukrainian, they, they, they wiped them out of the ground. They run like cats and dogs. What is the guy want to take, uh, you know, he want to take uh, the capital of Ukraine, Kiev, in 22 days? What happened to the guy want to take Bahamut in two days? What happened? Where you know, but she's Hamos. They grow a beard, show time, they show themselves wearing a uh, 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 gadget, they don't even know how to use it. And when the real fighter came to them, I'll bye bye. Bye bye. The show is over. We saw you, we saw you. We saw you in Syria, we saw you in Lebanon, we saw you in Iraq, we saw you, all of you are potatoes. We demolished you. Anyway, we go back to our topic. My friend, focus with me, focus. Obviously, you are just like your prophet who need a dish of wisdom so you can speak wiser. Please don't buy Budweiser unless you are a Muhammadan. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and show us? Huh? That we are wrong. Yeah, those games you see in TV, those are not, you know, this is not a real fight. But actually, most of them already, you know, they, they set up, like they do, because they do gambling, they set up who will win, you know. Like there, there is the manager of the fight, usually. Both of them, they have to agree to, you know, to lose. Not in the old cases, but sometimes they do it. However, this is just a game. But real fight is where people die like rats. Go right now and search how many champion they got killed after a fight with somebody. Simple. They call them champion. I call them champagne. Who dare to call me? Anyone? 
Why Allah? And by the way, here we have a serious question. How come Allah, he sent an angel I wanted to see love what you're doing ex-muslim now Christian here thank God CP God bless you okay we have somebody left Islam that's wonderful I just received this message happy for you my friend who's next How come Allah, he needed to send his angels to fix mental health issue of Muhammad? He is obviously not wise. He's a stupid. And he is obviously, he don't have faith. He's a pagan. So how Allah, he fix it? He send them two angels and then they cut the chest of Muhammad all the way to his balls. And then they install a dish of faith and dish of wisdom. Any Muhammadan? Hmm? Another stupid thing, Muhammad, to show you that he is mentally ill, that when he went to the seven heaven, he found where the Nile River and Euphrates is coming from. Yes, brother. When he arrived to the first heaven, he saw two rivers. Prophet Muhammad, because he is a person who likes geography, he's taking notes. Behold, he saw two flowing rivers while he was in the nearest sky. He asked, What are those, these two rivers? Oh, Jibreel. Jibreel, he said, Brother Sister, Prophet Muhammad asked me, What is those two rivers? I said to him, These are the sources of Nile, of Euphrates, and another river. Now you tell me, if Muhammad is not so smart and not so dummy, no, and not so idiot, no, and not so liar, no, and not so imaginary person, no, and not a full of, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to use that word, uh, 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 full of fictions, <laughs> no. How in the world he come to the conclusion that the Nile River and the Euphrates, they are coming from the sky, brother? Really? And here you see, it says here, the source. Ah. What source? Okay. Where it says the word source? It says here is the branch of the Nile River. Branch, branch. The Nile. You know, this is where it's coming from. And here you need to ask yourself, did Muhammad really go to the heaven in the sky or he went to Ethiopia and he went to Turkey? Like a Greek. Respect Zach and Naik. I respect him all the time. Chris and Breath. Breath of all, you are a liar. You never respect me and you made fun of me. Zach and Naik, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying what you say. If you say my day, I don't read really it. But all what you add, you know, some spice to what I say. I add what? Some spice to what I say. I add spice. Exactly. Okay, Zakir, listen. You're a prophet. Allah, he installed a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith in his chest and in his vein. How you explain that to me? You are a doctor, don't you? It's very simple. Prophet Muhammad be with him. He was very smart, but Allah wanted to be smarter. So Allah said to himself, I'm going to abrogate Prophet Muhammad. As an example, the company that call you, they say, sir, do you want to abrogate your bucket? What? 
the, the company they call me and they say to me do you want to abrogate your package exactly and what this have to do with our topic this is exactly what I do to my mother like what speak slowly man you are I cannot follow with you so Allah he said to himself I'm going to abrogate my brother Muhammad and now I'm going to make him the smartest in the whole world okay so you want to make him the smartest in the whole world exactly so Allah he said a big big death full of gold you know full of silver you want to about what Full of gold? Give them friends. I don't think full of gold. No, you said full of gold. Okay, maybe by mistake you said full of gold. It's not me who said that, it's you who said that. Give them friends. I think it's full of wisdom. Okay. No, you said full of gold. And if we're by Allah, I did not say full of gold. Okay, Jack and I is recorded. Give them friends. You are a liar, and I don't care what is recorded or what is not. It said it's full of wisdom. Okay, 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 no problem. So is it why Allah sent a dish full of wisdom to Muhammad? Why he was dumb? Because the prince, respect yourself. Respect yourself. May Allah curse you. I know somebody. He made fun of Prophet Muhammad. Do you know what happened to him? Yeah, what happened? I know. Do you know what happened? He became a president, Trump. Okay, send the topic. Okay. Hey, Muslims. This is your Zakir Naik. He found the Nile River in the sky and the Euphrates. And you receive a dish of faith and wisdom. So now Muhammad, his faith source is a dish. And uh, Jabril, he stuffed it in his chest. Mm. Josh saying you have no right to bad mouth Islam when your Bible is just as silly I don't know Josh you are stupid you change your name call yourself Muhammad so how my book is a stupid silly and the Quran confirm it you stupid <laughs> isn't it the Quran says Josh Change your name to Jash. You know what Jash mean? Donkey. This is your Quran. Don't use it. names that have nothing to do with you. This is your Quran. So if my book is funny, that means the Quran is stupid again. So now you will go. You are saying to me, don't bad mouth. Isn't it? This is a stupid Quran in chapter two, as an example, not limited. Verse number 89 says, When come to them the Jews, a book which is the Quran, confirming what is with them. And by the way, it doesn't say the Jews. This is additional. You see the Muslim, they add things here, it's not there. Those are the people of the book. The Christian and the Jews. You are not a Muslim? Well, you are a donkey still. Because if you are not a Muslim, and you are saying to me, I have no right to bad mouth Islam, but Islam is bad mouthing you for not being Muslim. So you must be a certified donkey. Because while you are, while you are angry about bad mouth Islam, saying the truth about it, when Islam describe you as the less than an animal, just because you are the Muslim, you have you know, no point except being stupid. You must be a person who votes for Joe Biden, maybe. Don't fail on the stage. And you are not able to stand up. Do we have any Mohammedan there to call us and tell us why Allah decided to do plastic surgery for the Prophet who was the first person who joined Discovery Channel and he found where the, the, where the Nile River and where uh, the Euphrates is coming from. And look, Muhammad was the first man who discovered that woman is a shaitan. She come as a shaitan, she live as a shaitan. Yet Muhammad, he promised the Muslim 72 shaitan at least. I mean, she is a shaitan. And what is the reward for the Muhammadan if they believe in Allah? To sleep with the shaitan, a lot of shaitan. Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us? Mayday, mayday, how do you do? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you if you don't call me to make you barbecue. Huh? I'm just pointing my hypocrisy. Uh, 
Well, you know, I don't know. Uh, you see, uh, just to show you what you said is stupid. So I'm assuming that you are. So are you an atheist, Mr. Josh? Are you an atheist, my friend? If you're an atheist, tell me. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's not. I mean, your mom, she did that to you, maybe. I'm just pointing out uh, your hypocrisy. The Bible has a cre creationism. Will we believe in creationism, you stupid donkey? You believe in what? You used to be a, a, a paramecium, and then you have a nose now? You stupid. You believe in theory. You don't believe in anything. You are just a stupid. We believe in the creation because simply everything has the signature of a same creator. This is why you see, if you look at the cat, if you look at the donkey, if I look at you, without looking at donkeys, I will see that you have too much similarity to cats and uh, rats. How do you explain that? The answer is very simple. You are made in the same manufacturer by the same maker. We go to the second topic. The Bible believes the doctrine of original sin. You are a certified donkey again. Do you know what original sin mean? Original sin means sin mean. There's a man, his name is Adam commits sin, that's it, and he was kicked out of it. But we, we people, we did not do the original sin. No, only, and that's, that's, that's what original sin means. You are a stupid donkey monkey. We do not know what are you talking about. Did you change your diaper today? You did not. It's not your fault, it's your mom. And then you say, Noah Flood, eh, I can search right now in two seconds. I will find that the, the scientists, donkeys like you, they said that the whole earth was covered by water in certain time. Yes, brother, yes. <laughs> search. Do you know how to use Google? You don't know how to use Google. You are an atheist. Because atheists are used by Google. They don't use Google. That makes sense. And then you say, Etc. I like the etc. As an example, your mom is not your mother according to you because you're an animal. So the, when the last time you had sex with your mother, etc. If you say to me you don't want to have sex with your mother, you need to explain to me why. Aren't you just an animal? So when you want, you take from the Christians the value of what is right, what's wrong. Can you tell the people here why you don't want to have sex with your mom? Don't tell me she's ugly. Come on. Stupid. So those atheists, you know, they ask them, do you have sex with your sister? You say, hey, why are you insulting me? Okay, your mom. You are insulting me again. Okay, so why you don't want to have sex with your mom? As long as you're an animal. Have you seen an animal he don't have sex with his mother? Correct? Since when the animals, they have a value of like, mom, hey mom, meh, can I have sex with you? Stupid. We laugh at you. So you cannot live without us. You talk about what makes sense and what does not make sense. But in reality, you take from us to make you, the, like what make you feel like you are a human. But the rest of the day, you like to feel like an animal. By the way, are you wearing a skirt or a painting, you know? Because you don't even know what is a girl, and you are talking about that they may make sense. What is a woman? I will tell you what is a woman. Do you like to call me? You know, I I, I don't talk to atheists, by the way, but maybe I can, uh, you know, I can take you for a snack. What is a woman? I mean, have you ever heard that after thousands of years of human history, you stupid atheists, you do not know what is women? I will tell you what is a woman. I do not eat needed to go far, you know. Are you going to call me? We are proud of it. We are proud of it. We'll be watching. We'll be watching. We'll be watching. Oh, there is a song. Here we go. See, I can show you what is a woman. Can you show me what is a woman? 
So you stupid people, you, you know, you claim that you have a brain, but in reality you don't. You, don't, you are confused who is a man, who is a woman, men wearing skirt, and the, 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 man, the, the man wearing a skirt and the women wearing the pant. I have been fan for a year while I really think you should start more charitable to your enemies. Turn the cheek. Uh, we are Christians. You know, Tiffany, I am not what you think. I am a crusader. If not the crusader, you will be a Abdul, a slave of the Muslims long time ago. And you do not understand the Bible because simply you did not read it. Turning the cheek was not teaching of Jesus that people can beat you. There was a law in the time of the Roman where if somebody hit you in a certain cheek, he go to jail. So Jesus was teaching them, use the law. Otherwise, Jesus, the same person, he said, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. So the priest who taught you about turn the cheek is an idiot. And I'm sure you never heard that Jesus said that the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. You never heard of it, don't you? <laughs> they want to show always Jesus. Those are the Christian hippies. You know the hippies? Jesus, he give hugs to everybody. Let me hug you. Can I hug you? This is not Christianity. And this is a big fat lie. Only donkeys, they believe in that. Jesus, he flipped tables on people. Jesus called them evil doers. He called them serpents. He was speaking to the Jews. Evil. Sons of Satan. So what are you talking about? Are you sure you did read what Jesus said? I did not even get close to what Jesus said. I'm not calling the Muslim son of serpent. Jesus did. This is what happened when those hippies, you know, they go to hippie churches who they have nothing to do with the Christianity and they teach him that Jesus, he used to have a ring in the ear and a ring in the nose and he used to give hugs to everybody and he colored his forehead with some like a, I don't know, red orange hair and he have a tattoo says, I love you. That is not Christianity. Those are fools who destroyed you. If you don't like to listen to me, you can leave. Please don't forget to close the door. Do we have any Muhammadan? Read more science book. You are confused one. My friend Josh, I did really read books. I, I, as an example, I, I'm, you know, I don't want to be uh, like harsh with you, as Tiffany she said. I decide, I just wrote up, you know, I, you know I, I, like, I saw a book yesterday, and the book was saying uh, how to block somebody in YouTube because he is annoying and stupid. I asked you to call me, you don't want to call me. I gave you an answer, you gave me no answer. You are asking me to read science book. Science book says Big Bang. Here we go, this is my bang for you. Hmm. If you don't believe in the Big Bang, I will make you believe in it today. Here we go, huh. here we go. Hide this user. You want to call me? Call me and be a man. Otherwise, you are a mosquito. And you have no place here. All right. If you don't like what I say, why you stay here? Don't be stupid. And if you say that Jesus was not harsh, that is a stupid of you. Jesus was very harsh. Because he was saying the truth. This is why he was killed. If he was a hypocrite like you, giving hugs to everybody, nobody would crucify him. If he was perfectly correct with the rabbis, they will not take him to the cross. He was exposing them. He was demolishing them. This is why Jesus was crucified. Who is a Muhammad and would like to call me and prove to me that Muhammad is not mentally ill. Mentally ill. Mentally ill is good, by the way. This is new English.
Anyone? You have to ins you have to I'm going to have to unsubscribe. You have changed so much. Oh Tiffany. Do before you go, can you give me a hug? You heard my feeling. Do you like to call me in Skype so we can cry together? I was I changed so much. Tiffany everybody will laugh at you because this is how I talk since I was a kid you idiot I used to be fired from school every day in fact in the high school I was fired from all the schools in the country all the schools you changed don't tell that to my mom she would die laughing you've been changed as if she was my wife and she knew how it used to be people they are watching me for the last 20 years and you say to be changed since when Christian Prince, I'm going to unsubscribe. I ask people to unsubscribe every every broadcast. Hey guys, don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will give you double reward. You subscribe and then unsubscribe because Allah that subscribing to me is a bad deed. But when you unsubscribe, Allah will give you double reward because you delete the bad deed. So unsubscribe, subscribe, unsubscribe, subscribe. Stupid people, you are talking to me. I will wipe the floor with you with stupidity. Don't try to be smart. Do you know they don't dare to call me because they knew they are, they are, I'm going to whip the floor with them and now you are claiming to be a Christian. You are no Christian. The people have spoken. You are no good. Israfil, he believe in democracy. <laughs> I don't know Israfil. I have a hundred thousand thousand subscribers in this account. 110,000 subscribers in the other account and one person you don't look like I say in, and you are saying people have spoken and look as long people have spoken you still you are here you donkey you must be mental so I'm not good and you are coming here to listen to me that's so deep that's so deep brother very deep mm. do we have any Muhammadan Muhammad was right. No, actually, let me show you. Muhammad, he said, Allah said to Muhammad, if you have a question, if you have a doubt about Islam, ask Christian Prince. Let me show it to you in the Quran. Additional proof, prove Muhammad to be mental. Because how the Christians are wrong, and then his God saying, if you have a doubt about Islam, ask, the, ask Christian Prince. <laughs> Chapter 10, verse number 94. Read with me, read, read, read and die laughing. Look at the heck is that? What the heck? Muhammad, he have a doubt about his religion? He have a doubt? What the heck? Muhammad himself, he don't believe he's a prophet? You know, my cousin Shakespeare, Shakespeare, he is the first one who wrote the book. It's called To Fart or Not To Fart. That is the question. I think Muhammad, he had it. And uh, he say, I'm prophet. He fought. He say, I'm not prophet. He fought again. So prophet, not prophet, prophet, not prophet, prophet, not prophet. So Allah get dizzy. So he said to him, Muhammad, give me a break, man. If you have a doubt that you are a prophet, go and ask the Christians. Additional proof that Muhammad is mentally ill. How you are a prophet. Listen carefully. This is not a guy who is going to believe in the religion. He is the prophet of the religion. And he himself, he himself, he have a doubt about himself being a prophet. Any Muhammadan? If there is any Muhammad that would like to join us live on air, my Skype is open. Was Muhammad mentally ill or was not? Another proof that Muhammad was mentally ill. Let us go. 
actually we have endless numbers of them some of them we mentioned already some we did not I don't know what to mention to you uh, if you see somebody taking a shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage how you explain that to me healthy person or mentally ill Is that my statement? Is that Da'if Hadith? No, it says Sahih. Look, it says Sahih. You see the word Sahih? Sahih. The one in bold. Al-Hukum Sahih. We saw the Muslim video speaking about farting. Break your prayer. Yet Muhammad, he go and he wash with dead dogs, little tiny water in the size of a jacuzzi, and this water is coming from garbage. It is a water coming from the house as people wash dishes, go to a little tiny location in the town, small village uh, uh, of Mecca, and that is the, the will of Bida'a. That's why they call it will of Bida'a. Bida'a is garbage. So, in the will of Bida'a, which is the will of garbage, was will which into ministral clothes dead dogs stinking things were thrown you see we are in the desert nobody will throw garbage in water unless this water is already used it's not a will of water maybe one day it used to be a will of water If he is not, and this is after Allah, he made for him a surgery and he installed wisdom. Any Muhammadan, it was said, O oh Messenger of Allah, you perform evolution from a well which the body of dogs, minstrel, rags, and garbage are throwing? The wise prophet answered and he said, water is pure and is not made impure by anything. Who can come with such a wisdom unless he is a person who had already plastic surgery from Allah. Let us face it. Since Allah, he installed a dish of faith and a dish of wisdom, the Prophet is acting so weird because now he is so wise. In other way, he is a genius. In other way, he is a genie. Yes. So the genie Muhammad, he is so smart he been taught by his God. If you see the Arab himself, I mean, the better when they used to take a shower once a year, maybe. This is what my grand, 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 grandfather told me, you know, as I'm an, I'm an Arab. I asked him, like, when the last time you took a shower? He said, uh, uh, you know, which means, like, don't even mention it. He don't remember, you know. So, uh, the water is pure. And the people are asking, even the Arab who take a shower once a year, because water is rare. They said to him, are you washing yourself, you idiot? Would water have bodies of dogs? I mean, dogs, not one dog, dogs, dogs. And women rags from menstruation and gar stinking garbage in it. The prophet, he got the answer ready. Psh, stupid people, stupid people. First of all, my name is Ali Dawa and I know best. Water is pure and nothing make it impure, proven scientifically. Who can come with this unless he is genius? Otherwise, genius. Do we have any Muhammadan? Until now, zero Muhammadan texting me. Hmm? 
the only one who was upset is Israfil and Tiffany. Any Muhammadan? I mean, it's hard to make the voice of Aidawa. You know, I'm a, I'm a person full of testosterone. You want me to make a voice of a girl? That would be very hard. Who is a Muhammadan? Hello? Water is always pure. And then the Muslim, they make videos about the Prophet teaching us hygiene. Hi what? Hi, hi, hi what? Hi jeans? Are you to, what? And then they say that the Prophet, if we listen to, there's a guy, his name Dr. Sabil Ahmad. You know, I made a video for him, first video, second video, third video, five video, seven videos, challenge him to come and call me the coward. All of them, all of them didn't hear me. But if apostate prophet or David Wood, when I debate them, they will line up right away. Do we have any Abdul? Hygiene, hygiene, yeah. No, in my English is hygiene, you know, because Muhammad was wearing jeans at that time. <laughs> There's tons of videos about the prophet. And you know, prophet, prophet, he taught us how to fight Corona. How, brother? He says, if you do uh, sneeze, cover your mouth, you stupid liar. This is not what he said. Your prophet, he was talking about if you open your mouth, shaitan, he jump in your mouth. Not for a health purpose. I mean, do you see how they lie? Let us see. Ah, fuh, fuh, fuh. Okay, let's find the hadith. Science, science. This is after Muhammad. You know, he had the plastic surgery. So imagine Muhammad before the surgery. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> you know, I'm really upset that if I do yawning, shaitan, not only he jump in our mouth, the filthy shaitan, he laugh at us loud. Can you believe it? And this is the, the statement of Prophet Muhammad after the surgery. This is after he got smarter. The Messenger of Allah said, Sneeze is from Allah. <laughs> Allah, he loves sneezing and he dislikes yawning. I mean, look at the title of the chapter. Can you believe it? You can make a movie about this chapter. What about we make a movie, we call it, let us sneeze for the sake of Allah. In fact, long time ago, I opened a chat room in Palto, call it, I opened it in the Islamic section. I called it, let us sneeze and make Allah happy, something like that. I don't remember the exact title, but it's like, let us sneak for the sake of Allah, something like that. And then the Muslim, they went to Palto and they asked Palto to shut down my chat room. I start negotiating with the company. I says, why I need to shut it down? This is what the Prophet said. Or what I'm asking them to come in the mic, sneeze. Let us make Allah happy. Allah love those who sneeze. He hate those who do yawning. I'm trying to make Allah happy. What the problem? Hachu. So in the time of the flu, Allah will be very ticklish. 
Hmm. My friend, I will laugh when you are punished by Allah S A W T. <laughs> yeah, you know, Muhammad, why Allah cannot punish me now? And in the same time, you will be happy and you will be laughing when you are punished, punished by Allah. Is WT? What is that? Is WT? Susu? Wicked? Tits? You Muslims add something stupid. What? What is a WT? I mean, I'm waiting for you. Tell me honestly. Hey, people, don't you want to know what SWT mean? Allah is WT. What is WT mean? Sewage. Uh, what is that? Go. I'm waiting. What? What is that? How in the world anyone he add to the name of his God something? What happened, Muhammad? Mahmoud. Oh, your name is Mahmoud. Hold on, hold on. Your name is Mahmoud, Quran 2117? No way. Are you serious? You are Quran 2117? Let us go there. Man, you are priceless, brother. You are coming from chapter number 21? No way. That, that is something. Uh, okay. How Abraham, he found that they are an angel brother. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let us see. We will go. Uh, 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 we will go with the verses. Let us go here. I want to go to the verse you know you are coming from. If we wanted an amusement, we could have found it within us. This is your name. If Allah want to take a wife, he will take it from us. And you choosing from all the Quran this verse to put it next to your name but you just approve that Allah is not one and there's many Allah and Allah want to marry a woman or sleep with the women from us prove me wrong do you dare to call me and prove me wrong what do you think guys do you think this Muhammad and dare to call me and prove me wrong he is the one who chose in the name to be the, ch the chapter. He put it next to his name. Don't change your name now. Too late. How Allah is one God, and then if you want to choose a partner, it's not a wife? I'm a liar? You hurt my feeling now. Thank God I'm a man, not a woman. Like Leodawa, otherwise we, I would be crying. Okay, let's see. Maybe we have a Muslim. Hold on. Let us see. <coughs> Maybe we have a brave Muslim, you never know. Maybe we got lucky. Hello? Why are you changing your voice? You are changing your voice, what is that? You're trying to find me? Okay, what do you want to say to us? What do you think about the verse on the screen? You you got to understand one thing. Hmm. You have your opinions about Islam. Okay. But right now, because of everything you're doing, you're causing my family a lot of trouble. 
Oh, what I, what happened? Yes, everything started with my kid. He started watching your videos. Okay. And then one day, he insulted me saying that Muhammad is a donkey. Hmm. You are a fake Muslim. You are not a Muslim. No. <laughs> Just get that. I don't have time for people faking it and the stupid. Get lost. Who is a real Muslim when I call me? No, he's not Muslim. He's just an idiot. Hey, Mahmoud, are you going to call me? Anyone he will do this, faking to be a Muslim, I have no respect for you. You know, that that's stupid. Do we have any Muhammadan there to call me? Hey, Mahmoud, come on, call me. You are the one who chose in this verse. How Muhammad, he claimed that he have one God, yet, and you said, you said this is not a wife. Guys, did he say that? He said, doesn't say a wife? He said that, right? I took a screenshot for it. What if I show you that it is a wife? In fact, it's not even a wife. It's just a woman for fun. A hooker. Do you want to debate me about it? You know what? I know you will never call me. Why are you changing topic now? For you, Quran 928, my friend, Quran 928 is not even from Muslim. This is for us for the Jews. This is what was said by Musa. You are certified idiot like your prophet. According to your stupid Quran, Muhammad is quoting Musa. Mental, again. I never saw a Muslim he knew what he's talking about. But don't change the topic. You said this is not about a wife, you are a liar. Well, we can just change the translator. Huh? What do you think? I just changed the translator. I did not change the book. Huh? Guys, does it say wife? Does it say wife? It says wife, right? Had we intended to take a past time, i.e. a wife or a son, because in order to have a son, you have to have a wife, etc., we could surely have taken it from us. You said it doesn't say that, CP. Your Islamic website, who is the translator? Let us see. Is that a Christian prince? No. Hilali, Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. You have two Muhammad. So who is the liar, Mahmoud? This is the verse you chose for us. If Allah want to take a wife, he will take it from us. That means he have people from his kind to take. He said from us. You see, when you ask the Muslim why Allah keeps saying us, they say to you, he speak like majestic, which is very funny because it looks like Allah is not satisfied with being one. So he like to be sound many, fake man, many, you know, fake many. When kings, they say us because simply there is many. The king, he's, he rule by the, his name and the name of the nobles who selected him to be the king. The king is not the king just by himself. So when he say we, he's speaking about him and his council and the nobles who they accepted him to be a king. When Allah, he say we, and the Muslim, they say Allah speaking like a majestic king, that is a stupid because Allah, obviously, he don't like to be I, and he is not satisfied with I, so he prefer fake we. Because if he is not we, and you add us and we to your name, that is still fake. How you can be majestic by lying? Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? As you see, we prove in two seconds, and we can open the interpretation. In fact, the verse is proving that Allah is a man. Because he want to take a wife, and those wives, if we go to the tafsir, we will find that they are 
divergence and what is divergence they are a human created for Allah followers a human like him and now Mahmoud he will play dead Allah want a partner with we who are they female and they are from us Do we have any Muhammad that want to prove me wrong about Muhammad? You see, we are examining the mental health of Muhammad, and obviously, is his, this person is totally in chaos. Let us see another example of Muhammad health issue, mental health issue. You see, if somebody have a mental health issue, we cannot make fun of him because that's not his fault. But this guy, he deceived millions and millions by his mental health. So he is not really the target as much the target is to save the followers from a stupid mentally ill person. If we go, like now we mentioned to you this, that Allah like the one who sneezes, he hate the one who yawn, and shaitan he jump inside his opening if you do yawn. Can we say that Muhammad is a smart, intelligent being or he is being a stupid? when he said that. Is that a statement of someone smart? If I come to you and I claim to be a prophet and I say, my God, he liked the one who sneeze and he disliked the one who do yawning. And when you yawn, shaitan jump inside your mouth and he laugh at you. Be honest with me, Muslims, what you will say about my statement. Just be honest. You will laugh at me. You will make tons of videos about me to humiliate me. Is that correct, people? You see the hypocrisy? If a person right now, he claimed that he's a prophet and he said this, and Muhammad did not say that, the Muslim, they will die laughing at him. They will make videos about him. They will smear him. They will publish it. Look at the funny, stupid prophet. He appears suddenly claiming to be a prophet and look, he said his God said to him, Allah like yawning, like sneezing. Allah more honor, more bigger, not for him to have a son. <laughs> I told you it's all about size. <laughs>